Welcome to the Texas EC through six core subjects practice questions. Today we will actually be going over math questions. Please visit us at firstyeartexasteachers.com. Uh, we'll put a link uh, to our uh, page where you could actually get more questions uh, that are almost identical to the exam. So please visit us there. All right, our first sample question that we're going to go over today. Um, which of the following activities is best for a teacher to use to introduce students to the concept of multiplication of whole numbers? So before we go and tackle this question, let's, let's or the answers, let's, let's take a look at the question. Which of the following is best for a teacher to use to introduce students to the concepts, concept of multiplication of whole numbers? So let, let's, we're looking at a concept of multiplication of whole numbers. So the first answer, having students use counters to solve a problem involving multiplication of whole numbers. Uh, that question uh, seems all right. I, I don't know. It's, I could swing either way with that one. Providing students with a partially completed multiplication chart and having them complete the chart. Interesting. What are we looking for, though? Let's go back. Activities is best for teachers. Okay, so that's an activity. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know if giving them the answers right off the bat would be good, so I'm leaning kind of crossing towards uh, crossing this out. Giving students a worksheet contains single-digit multiplication problems and having them work with a partner to solve each problem. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to lean towards probably not. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Having students use flashcards to help them me memorize basic multiplication facts and then moving them to problems of incurring difficulties. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm going to say probably no on this one. So I'm, I'm basically giving myself a 75% chance. So I'll cross this one out hypothetically. Uh, following activities best for a teacher to use to introduce students to the concept of multiplication of whole numbers. Uh, having students use counters to solve a problem involving multiplication of whole numbers. Uh, providing students with a partially completed. I'm going to say no on this one as well because, you know, just because it's partially completed doesn't mean they fully understood it. So I'm going to cross B and D out. I don't know, flashcards for some reason, it just, I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to give myself a 50% chance here. Giving students a worksheet can contain single digit multiplication problems and having them work with a problem to solve, a partner to solve each problem. Uh, you know, with partners and all that, I don't know if it's good right off the bat, but you are using peer to peer learning there. So, uh, having students use counter to solve problem involving multiplications, use counters. I'm going to have to say we're looking for best for a teacher to introduce students. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if we're introducing it to them, uh, I don't think working with a partner at such a young age is going to be right. So I'm going to go with A. And, you know, you guys can comment below that I'm completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> but for some reason, I'm going to have to say A. <laughs> All right, moving on to qu sample question number two. A teacher is working with students explaining the concept of multiplication. Which of the following activities shows the concept of multiplication of whole numbers? All right, let's break down the question. Uh, explaining the concept of multiplication, activities. We're going back to activities. I'm breaking down the question. Shows the concept of multiplication of whole numbers. Multiplication facts informing factors of 1 through 12 with flashcards? Nah, probably not. Providing rectangular arrays as possible using specified square tiles? Uh, you know, we're, we're still explaining the concept? Maybe. Skip, skip counting by 2s, 5s, and 10s? Maybe. Showing multiplication problems and having students solve them in a certain amount of time? Um, we're looking activity, multiplication of whole number. Uh, you know, 
I don't think C would be good. Uh, I'm going to say with multiplication facts and forming factors 1 through 12, still I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross that out. Providing rectangular arrays is possible using specified number, square of tiles. Um, I'm going to have to go with D. I'm going to take a guess on that one. Like I said, if you guys disagree with me, definitely comment in the video below. And then um, these are just questions almost identical from the exam. So please visit us from First Year Texas Teachers. Uh, we'll put a link in the description. And we wish you the best of luck in your certification process.